Welcome to Blade Show West, everybody. We are here at the CRKT booth with my friend Ryan. George, how are you? I'm great, how are you? I'm doing great. And we have a ton of new knives from CRKT. And it looks like every knife on the table is from epic knife designer is right back here talking to somebody, Richard Rogers. Richard's somewhere back there. Yeah, I see yes. him, he's right there. The man, <laughs> the myth, and the legend. We have five new releases at Blade West. Super excited about them. I would probably say, I'm gonna start with this guy because this is the one I've been carrying in my pocket for the last couple weeks. This is- the one I've is... been crushing on since I started, got, since I got to the table at least. Just pull it real quick. It's- That is the Q. The Q. Yes. So let's start uh, tip to tail here. So we got Magna Cut Blade Steel. Okay. Titanium frame with a carbon fiber inlay. Love it. Really unique backspacer on the back. Deep carry pocket clip. Really lightweight. Registers in your hand really nice. Super smooth action. And then what were you doing earlier? You're doing the little uh, Yeah, I was doing the flick the there. Uh, I talked about this on our new knives video a little while ago, actually, where this thing has ever so slightly of a corner in the fuller here, and it just grips your fingernail just well enough for a really nice flick. So nice. Yep, and I love that the frame lock here is kind of hidden behind this bolster. Yeah. Because sometimes, especially when you're doing that with folders with that lock, is your finger can depress the lock bar while you're trying to flick, and then it'll adjust the detent, but yeah. not here. You're resting right on the scale, and pink. Oh, it's so good. Love it. Yeah, just great action. Uh, just fits my hand really nicely. And yeah, I mean, I just, I had to lead with that because that is the one I've been carrying, so. Yeah, this one's really sweet. Very much nice. And it looks like we have the Q smaller Compact. version. Q Compact. Yes, yeah, so that's gonna be S35VN aluminum with the G10 uh, inlay there. Just a, a really solid knife, you know, a little bit I guess shrunken down version. You still got your backflip capability with that, you know, kind of nail nick or, or fuller. Um, yep, and then a liner lock on this one. Yep, liner lock, deep carry pocket clip. Uh, so that's gonna be, I guess, more like the standard inline version, and that's gonna be more the premium offering. Yeah. Man, I think I like the size of the compact just a little bit better. That okay. might be my, that might be my, my speed. Okay, cool. Yeah. Well, um, let's move on to, we got two new pups as well. Pups. So yes, this, I will hand you that one. That's gonna be our inline uh, version. I love the texturing here on the handle, kind of like a golf ball texture. Mm -hmm. um, really cool. And that is gonna be Oz 10 blade steel. Is that a first for CRKT? Um, I want to say no, but <laughs> we've had obviously AUS8 in the line for, for many, many years. We wanted to do a, an upgrade on that. Obviously a super slicey steel. And yeah. I don't believe, but I, don't want to say yes. Yeah. But still, awesome steel. Uh, I, what, you don't know off the top of your head every blade steel ever used by CRKT? <laughs> uh, God, I, I should. You put me on the spot. Yeah, but Austin's a really cool steel. It kind of runs in the same league as VG10 for you guys out mm -hmm. there, which is a very common one for those slicier knives because it has decent toughness, but a very fine grain structure, especially for a conventional powder, excuse me, a conventional ingot steel like this. So it will get spooky sharp and it'll hold its edge reasonably well as well. Very exciting to see on a little knife like this guy. Yep, and then we have the upgraded version in a slippy. So boom, look at that with that top flipper, super cool. Oh, there it is. That is going to be Damasteel. All right. Acid etched, extremely just beautiful steel. You can you can really- Catch guess, the grain in yeah, there. Yeah, if you capture it with the light. Um, titanium with a carbon fiber inlay and just a, a beauty. Yeah, this thing is feather light too. Yeah. Man, I, I do like this one. This one is fidget factor to the nth degree. <laughs> yeah, it is. Pink. 100%. Do it with whatever you're doing. Man, very exciting. Yep, so that is going to be the pup. The pup. The pup. And then we will end with the Persian here. The Persian. Yes. And so I believe we saw this Persian earlier this year, yeah? Correct, so that is going to be the inline Persian. Mm -hmm. um, that is actually what Richard carries every day. Just had dinner with him last night. He pulled that out of his pocket because I was telling him how much I love the Persian. Mm -hmm. He pulled that one out and I was like, oh, I, I was talking about the high-end Persian, but that's literally what you carry every day. He's like, yes, that is my everyday knife. <laughs> um, he's a rancher by trade and that's what he uses on the ranch. And he drove over yesterday and that's what he had in his pocket. I gotta say, I might have talked about this in the sh in the video we did before Shot Show. I picked this up, and I don't like it. Looks so refined and gentlemanly. It does not look like a ranch knife. But you put it in your hand, you're like, 
yeah, let's go cut some hay bales. <laughs> yeah, it just, it. he loves it just because it's ease of use, the assisted opening, ergonomic, um, you know, really you can tackle any, any cutting task with uh, the blade shape. So that is the inline version. And then we have the Blade Show West launch knife with the high-end um, version here, made to cut blade steel, titanium, that beautiful carbon fiber, just oh, that really unique kind of harpoon shape on the blade. Um, oh, really it's gorgeous. Really nothing not to love about it. It is gorgeous, that, that's a, a great word. It's just a really, really good looking, gorgeous knife. Yep, it's very refined. Like the lock disengages really well. It sits flush with this spacer here. It, man, dang. And this good, one's unassisted. Good job, Richard. Well. Yeah, Richard done a good job on this Good job. One. <laughs> Yeah, that's beautiful. And what steel on this one? It's gonna be MagnaCut. MagnaCut, nice. all right. We're just pulling out all the stops. <laughs> of course. And then if you are at the show, we are raffling off a Persian that is actually signed by Mr. Rogers himself. By him. And then a <laughs> Q that is signed. So swing by this uh, CRKT booth, enter to win these beautiful knives, and they are signed by Richard Rogers. They're looking good. In fact, there was a giant stack of tickets right here and I was gonna enter, but they're gone now. So I'll have to fight, track them down. They're just right there. Perfect, <laughs> I'll go enter this thing. But yeah, Richard Rogers has been busy with the knife designs. And CRKT has been busy making a lot of cool stuff. Yep. And one thing I really love that CRKT has been doing is you have the inline stuff. We also have some of these more limited edition higher end ones, but all of the above, are at really competitive pricing, considering the materials, quality, everything. Like, yep. I I love it, and so I see he's one of my favorite brands to give away to people and to carry myself, like, because I can pick this up and go cut open a hay bale, and I, I have yet to break one, but I don't, I'm not afraid to use it, you there know? There we go, good. <laughs> yeah, love CRKT. Well, thank you, George. Thanks for your time, Ryan. Okay. Have a great show. All right, thanks.